Simon Kuf Pe Gimel, and we're middle of the Simon. We're holding page Tov Kuf Yud Aleph, and the Alter Rebbe Shul Naruch. Yud Aleph. Are you in the line of the video? Kuf Pe Gimel. I think so. Yeah. Take what I Page Tov Kuf Yud Gimel. Tov Kuf. Page Tov Kuf Yud Gimel. Kuf Pe Dalut. Tavkuf Yud Aleph, I'm sorry. Tavkuf Yud Aleph? Tavkuf Yud Aleph. Okay. After Tzadik or after Kuf? After Kuf? Hey, Kuf, hey, Gimel. Okay. Good, good. Okay. okay, so we're holding Sif Yud. From when he picks up the Kois of Kiddush, over here we're not talking about Kiddush, we're talking about the Kois of Kois shall Brocha from when he holds it in his hand. Before we go into the Alochis, just like you can be Medayik in what the Alter Rebbe says, obviously you can be Medayik in what the Alter Rebbe does not say. Yesterday we learned in the Gemara that the Gemara says you're not. When you do Bech Zamaz and you're not supposed to do it with a Kois of Puronius. Because the Gemara has a whole daf in Psochim about what is a Kois of Puronius. The Gemara says that you're not allowed to drink or eat Zugis double. Because that's, that's not good for Shadim and for Kshofim. Sometimes for both, sometimes for one, sometimes for the other. The Gemara says a story about a woman and her husband divorced her. She went and remarried uh, a Chemveni, a guy who ran a, a store that they were selling wine. And uh, but she hated her first husband because she because he divorced her. So her whole life she was waiting to do kishuv on him, but he was very careful. He knew she knew how to do kishuv, so he was very careful. Whenever he would buy wine, he would drink one cup, three cups, six. He would never drink an even number. They would never drink two or four. He was always careful. And he came to drink. And he uh, he lost count. He got the 16 cups of wine. He already got a little shikir. And uh, he got he got tipsy and he couldn't he couldn't keep count on what he's drinking and what he's not drinking. He ended up drinking Zugis. Whatever, he drank 20 drink? cups, Lamazagan. He drank Zugis. So his wife went and put a spell of Kishif on him. It was so bad that when he walked out of the inn where he was drinking, he walked out of the Chemveni, the tavern, whatever it was. Ataya saw him, and Aravi, a goy saw him, and he said, Ah, the Kishif is written all over your face. You're a dead man walking. So he got so terrified, he leaned onto a decal, and the decal dried up and he died. So that's how powerful the Kishu. story of Zugis this, uh, this, this. What's, what's a decal? A tree. Oh, a tree. Oh. Perhaps she knew that he's sleeping and he drank too much all these years. She was trying to put it into the chap. All these years she put she him in the She was trying, she was trying, she was trying to be yeah. She was trying and trying and trying. And it's brought in Shechon Aruch, as Simon Kuf Pei Gimel. It's brought in Shechon Aruch that, um, that uh, yeah, you're not allowed to, Tchesh Abroch, you're not allowed to. The Gemara says, in, how, how could Chacham make a Takona to drink four cases of wine on Pesach when it's Zugas? The Gemara gives three answers. One answer the Gemara gives is that uh, it's, it's a Leil Shemurim. So that's a special night. That night doesn't matter. 
You can eat two eggs. You can eat uh, two matzahs. You can drink four kaisas. I thought it okay. was more than two is already okay. And there's different numbers. Depends okay. which numbers. You got to go. And there's a long, it's more than a dafa gemara. And then the second gemara is that it's a koisha bracha. It's different. Koisha bracha, l'toivel metzdarif, l'roen metzdarif. So, uh, but but uh, apparently that koisha bracha is only for koisha bracha is powerful. Who locked it? It was locked. Shkarchi, unlocked it. Shkarchi. So this, that's the second answer in the Gemara. There are koisha bracha, but obviously that koisha bracha means only for the night of Pesach because the Gemara says, as we learned yesterday at the end of Shloisha Shachlu, that when it comes to koisha bracha of of uh, you're not allowed to have zugas. Third answer is that it's not really four koises. Each one is a separate mitzvah. But as we said yesterday, the Gemara says, by koisha bracha, you're not allowed to have zugas. So with his two opinions, one if that meal he had two cups of wine, he is not allowed to get the kibud of koishal bracha. That's the dinner shulchan aruch. If he did that before the koishal bracha, I mean, if he had two cups of wine, the he's soda, not supposed to have. He's not allowed to do koishal bracha. The problem is that the Alter Rebbe doesn't bring this halacha. As if it fell off. Okay. It fell off the thing. Just fell off the page. It's not here. In this whole simon, simon kuf pei gimel, the Alter brings every single halacha. This one halacha the Alter Rebbe does not say. But it said, Yain is samach levav enosh. So why they made this trick for two? It's a whole daf. Not just wine. I'm talking about even... The Rebbe Nebuchadnezzar says... To eggs, and things like that, you know? The Rebbe Nebuchadnezzar says, and the Sefer called Shulchan Shel Arab, it's all about meal. He says that uh, because uh, one is Hashem, two is Shniyas. And the, and, and the Kishuf and the Shadim, they have, they, they, they believe in, in secondary power besides the Ebeshter. That's why the uh, Yid always believes in odd numbers. They believe in even. As I said yesterday, my pshat is that, uh, that the Shadim and the Kshafim, they're very, very symmetrical. We're non symmetrical. You know, we're one, we're three, six. In general, there's a two attitudes about Shadim and Kshofim. The Rambam has his, uh, his attitude towards Keshuf. He says it in the Moira Nebuchim. He says it in the Sefer HaMitzvah. He says it in the Yad HaChazoka. He says it wherever he could say it. And his time was Keshuf. He says Shereos it's all bogus. He says a person who believes that. in the Yad HaChazoka, a person who believes that there is power to Keshuf, but Torah says it's forbidden, is a fool. He's like the women and fools who uh, the women? Uh, I guess those women that that we're talking over there, <laughs> not the women of today. So uh, the, these the women today are called Noshim Chshuvas, those women, and the children, the Chaserei Das, that believe in they believe in witchcraft. The Torah told us not to practice witchcraft because it's Baba Mises. It's not true. It's a waste of time. It's bogus. That's the Rambam. Uh, attitude. But the other Rishonim, the Ranban, say no, that uh, that Kishuf is a true thing and Shadim is a true thing. And that's why the Torah said that there is a certain power in Teva called Kishuf and Shadim. And one of their very strong rights is this Gemara. It's a daf and a half. And it's a Negei Ladina. Anyway, the Torah in, in Chulin, in Kol Abosa says, the, an interesting uh, sort of, you know, thing in between the Rambam and the... He says that we don't know what went on in the times of the Shas. Maybe in those days there were more koiches of Shadim and Kishuf that were around. But today we haven't seen them in France. In France and uh, what's it called? And in Germany we haven't seen them. They, uh, they, they, they we, we, you know... They're not around. <laughs> but the Torah said the clearly... The has a very long thing there. And he brings many, many rayot from the, from the Shas. That there is. That there is. And he says, Feirush, very strongly, he, that he's told us the way about the Rambam. He said, a philosophy of Ita Atu. Right. Right. The, the, the Gro thinks that the philosophy was Mata, the Rambam. But, um, yeah, and, and but, but the Toysvah seems to have like an interesting thing that, uh, like, sort of an in between. The Toysus and Chulan that I'm talking about, that uh, that uh, today we don't have it. So it's a, it's a Lamaisa, the Toysus justifies the Rambam and the Ramban at the same time. He says, 
we don't, there's no, it doesn't exist today. There's How do they know? How do they know? <laughs> but how did the Rambam, how did the Rambam It's say? interesting, just a second. The Rambam, the Toysavus, there's yesterday, there's a in Bechoyedus, where Toysavus says, Toysavus, the Gemara says, a person shouldn't urinate straight into the pras, because the word of the pras ends up in Israel, in Ein Eitom. So he says, he asked the people that came from Israel, which direction the pras is going, to Israel or from, the water from Israel is going, to Iraq or the water from the Iraq is coming to Israel. So they told him it's the other way. From Israel it goes to Iraq, not from So Toysa says Tsarichiyun. Tsarichiyun. So I don't know, but the Lamaisa, I just want to finish off this uh, this thought. That the Beis Yosef na- uh, accepts the Toysvis, La Locha, and says, therefore, there is no issue with Zugis. So Back to answer this question, that's why the Al Terebbe doesn't bring the halacha that it's about yeah, the problem of Zugis. The Al Terebbe probably paskins like this Toysvis that whatever was Bismana Shas was Bismana Shas, it doesn't apply to us today. I don't think you can make a general statement about that because if you from Sukkot, in the Gemara itself it says that uh, uh, Manda Kapit Kapit, the Manda Lok Kapit Lok Kapit. It's only, it's only by Zubot, not about other things. That's right, right. I'm narrowing it down now to this case, to this yeah. thing. So the truth is, even if you don't say exactly like Toysavis, but the Gemara itself already said, man the kopit, kopit, the man the lo kopit, lo kopit, and since most of us are not makpits, it doesn't apply to us. But, so the truth is, you could say two separate tainas, either because of Toysavis or because we're not makpit. The bottom line is the Alter Rebbe doesn't say it. The halacha of that uh, you have to be choshish, if a person ate zugis in the Suda, you have to be choshish not to give him a kosher bracha. So obviously the reason the Alter Rebbe doesn't say it because he doesn't hold of it. How the Rambam said, whoever believes in Chashef and all this is, is a shafui, it's not normal. And he said, clearly in the Torah, mechashefa lo techayon. It's meant the boys are mechashefot. He said, you're not allowed to keep them alive. And that's Mr. Houdini, David Blaine. <laughs> whoever it is. But it said clearly that it was Mechashifor. Say for mitzvahs, we learned yesterday that you're not allowed to live in Mitzrayim. The Rambam lived in Mitzrayim. No, oh, okay, okay, wait, 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 wait a minute. Well, yeah. oh, oh, you would tap on the Rambam yeah. now. <laughs> the Rambam explains, he says, that, uh, that, that because it, it's not, because it's nonsense, the Torah doesn't want Jews to waste their time in nonsense. And a person that opens up a, a shop, a witchcraft shop, an academy, an academy for witchcraft, uh, what's it called? What's uh, the 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 movie? The or the the the, the books? Uh, what's it called? Uh, Voila. Oh no, the uh, the the, 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 the children book. You know, the Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Yeah. Oh, that's For some reason, a woman that does kishiv, women that do kishiv, it's unacceptable. But the men that do kishiv is very positive. For some reason. So, uh, I don't know, in American society, in Western society, that Kishu, <laughs> well, a, a witch <laughs> is a Loshen Shal Gnai, and a wizard is a Loshen Shal Shvach, no? Isn't it that way? In common language. If, uh, you say a person is a wizard, it's a Shvach, that he's brilliant. And when you say a person, if you say a person is a witch, it's a gnai. Well, years ago in America, they killed the witches. It's not the male cut. It was witches? They, they said they were no? witches. No. Warlock. It's a very smart, smart person. Ah, so what's a, what's a male witch? Warlock. Warlock. Ah, warlock, okay. Okay, let's say you take back my order. So you're a big maven. And, uh, <laughs> but years okay. ago here in America. He's a big witch. They killed women. They killed the witches. What does it say? What does it say? Because since women are in the south. Right, because that was the... Right. the, because that was the but that... Dibra kos of behoven. Because women, not that uh, we abhor more the kishav of a woman than a man. No, but that, 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 that's because of the, the sort of the sort of linear is because women are inside the din, so they're more the... Oh, in the soil, you're saying it's more, it's like, uh, okay. So they're more, more likely to get involved and stuff like that. Right. It's, it's more, more right. Important. The Benish Chai believe in Shedim. Benish Chai, in a lot of time, he said... Uh, okay, the most, the, like he said, the Rambam, the Rambam is... Uh, the girl wrote against the Rambam very sharply uh, on this, and a lot of their least all disagreed with the Rambam. Anyway, in the case of, of, of here, as I said, one, number one, the Toysva says that the Zugas doesn't uh, apply today, 
because we don't have shadim today. And another thing is the Gemara itself says that people that are not makbed are not makbed, and that's why perhaps the Alter Rebbe doesn't bring this din of zugas. Okay, so now we spoke about what the Alter Rebbe doesn't say. Now let's talk about what the Alter Rebbe does say. Halacha ten, halacha yud. Mashiach is a kais biyadeh Very important halacha. Incredible, I think this is one of the most important halachas of the whole Bechus Bechus Hamazon. People go a lifetime, go through a lifetime, and they push not yoytze Bechus Hazimun the way you should be yoytze Bechus Hazimun. They push not doing zimun ever, and maybe not even doing Bechus Hamazon, which is a mitzvah midday raisa. Mashiach is a kais biyadeh when a person picks up the kais of wine for for the Kosh Abracha or Bech Tzamozen Lo Yevorech Lo Yevsiyech Mevorech He's not allowed to talk Dvorim Betelem Afil Asich HaKal Abed Zagimbal Tevis Two or three words he shouldn't say Mishum Hesach Hadas You mean the minute he picks up the case? Yeah, from the minute he picks up the case. V'yeish HaEmrim Shekam HaMesubim Em Lom Lasiyech Even the other people Meshanot La Mevorech Kois Biyod Elevorech They say even the Mesubim The Machloikis V'toi V'loch Yishul Devarim L'Chatchil V'Shuvi Choshish not only he shouldn't speak, but they shouldn't speak. I learned that because he and they are the same. What he does is for right them. He, I learned that right after my friend, he shouldn't speak anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't know where. I, okay, maybe. But everyone agrees from when he starts the bracha of Echzamazen, he can't speak. While he says the words of the Baruch Hashem, they have to listen, and understand what the Mavarech is saying. Even between the first and the second, or the second and the third Baruch Hashem, they shall not speak. Just like the person who makes a Baruch is not allowed to speak. The person who's listening to Baruch is like the person who says it. So, just like a person who says the bracha, the Gemara says, is not allowed to speak. So, also the listeners are not allowed to speak. It makes no difference. But if they spoke, so if it's in the time that the Mavarech was quiet, he wasn't speaking words of the bracha, so then there were yaitza. They're not allowed to do it, just like he's not allowed to do it, but there were yaitza. It makes no difference. Even the person who makes himself the bracha, they're yotzeh. But if they spoke when he was saying the bracha, lo yotzeh, they're not yotzeh. Middle benching. They were not yotzeh. Because they, you can't do two things at the same again. time. So they have to return? So they have to do the whole benching again. So the Mishnah Baruta has a few interesting ha'oras here, which are, sound very logical. I don't know why the Alter Rebbe, probably the Alter would agree. It's if they miss words that you yotze the benching anyway. If they missed, it wouldn't be a problem. Um, and if they stop talking and they catch up, that would be a fine. But if they didn't, if they spoke a few words and they missed like bris v'toyra, they missed crucial words in machzamazon. Even though later they list their end of the benching, it makes no difference. It's it's they missed crucial words in the benching. They have to bench all over again. V'sharuri yezu matsuya beina hamoyin. Very strong language al tereb yezun. You know, a sharuria, a tumult, a himmel gishrei. Very common. It's a terrible thing is happening. Shemeshashem evorich bezimun evorich. Ain't shemim like people are not listening to the zimun. Medabrim dvarim achedim. They are talking. Vayivrim alasei shal toira. They're over on one of the tayag mitzvahs of the toira. Beshat nefesh, openly. The toiv miyot shaloi hoya shaloi lavarak lal bezimun. So it would be better to stop the whole zimun. Shoz or you call echad mavarak la atzmai. Then every person would make the bracha for himself. Hashem can achshav now. Shatoyim loimer. They make a mistake. They think she yotzim v'richtam mavarak that they yotzim hein enim shem ma'ahum oimer, but they're not listening. So therefore, they're not yotzim. Now, obviously, our minig is not what the Alter Rebbe. The original, the minig was. That, uh, like the Gemara says, that everyone sits quietly and the Mavarech Bechzamaz makes the Bracha, and they're Shemeya Kohen, and they listen, and they're Machavan, and they understand what he's saying, and they say Amen, or they don't say Amen, whatever that's. But they listen, and they're Yoitze. But the problem was that at a certain point, at the point of later Poiskim, they said it was Asharurya, Ahimel Gishrei. One guy is sitting there with a cup of wine, with a cup, without a cup. He's saying, he's saying, and people are not paying attention. 
So the gam lechol adam noche. The proper thing would be sheyem avalachash. The person should say quietly mila b'mila word for word imam avorach with the person who says the bracha. Call bracha bracha every bracha. I feel like simus even the end. The fish ain't call adam yochel lachav and l'shmoy call teva teva mpiyam avorach. Why? Why is this a good eitzah? Because it's hard to pay attention for every word. If in the middle he's not going to pay attention, he'll miss a word. And that's the type of word that's ma'akiv in the Birch Zamazim. He's not yotze, the mitzvah benching. So therefore, he should say every word. Stop at the top line over here. It's a very crucial thing. I spoke about this the first day of Rosh Hashanah. Moloch had sight and people listened. People will listen. Today people don't listen. People like to talk, but people don't like to listen. So the original Takona was that Bichas Krishma, the Chazan says, everyone listens. Bichas Amazon, the Chazan says, everyone listens. They say, Amen. The problem is that today people don't have the, the, they don't have the attention span to listen. No one's listening. Everyone's talking and no one's listening. So, uh, no focus. No focus. They're, they're, they're talking. They're not In listening. In school, they all sang Bekat Amazon together. I think it's beautiful. Baruchata. So, so everybody's saying it. They're not saying a Zimun anyway. It's fine. No, I mean, I'm the Gam Gan Yisro. We did that. They're not saying a Zimun anyway. <laughs> but if they're saying a Zimun, we'll get to that in a second. Mm-hmm. But now we're talking. So, so, so what's the Eitzah? The Eitzah is that everyone say every word. What's the problem with everyone saying every word? L'chayr, it's a good Eitzah. That's what we do today, right? The Al-Tarebis is not happy with that minig. But Lepal, that's what we do. Mishnah Bruder says that's Lepal, what we do. What's wrong with our minig? What's wrong? L'chayr, it's a good eight. You can't hear the Mavara. So what? So you don't hear the Mavara. What's the problem? You're not doing a Zimun. Chazal said, God will Hashem meet you in the Rav Mishma Yachdov, that we're going to have a Zimun. If everyone, the whole, you're turning it on its head. Chazal also knew that every person could make his own bracha. But Chazal wanted that when there's three people or ten people, there should be a zimun. Right. Because God will Hashem it and the Right. So now, what did we do? We went and we gave every year a bencher, and it's very nice. They say I'm paying attention, say every word. Even if they're not paying attention, the pearl is saying it. Because Shemeya Ka'oin is only if you're Shemeya. But if you're not paying attention, you're not saying it. But if you're saying it, even if you're not having Kavana, you're also Yoytza. So that's a good Eitza. To be yoitzer benching, but how you yoitzer the zimun? So that's why the Alter Rebbe is going to say, "Bechasimus yimar lasayim koydim sheisam mavorech." You should finish very quickly the chasima before the mavorech, kadesh yuchel anas omen acherav, and then you'll be able to say omen after him. Because if you finish the bracha together with him, it's a shail if you're allowed to say omen. It's a machloek as Ashkenazim asvardim. We only say by the berachim of shloim omen, because we say the only time you're allowed to say omen. When you finish, is when you finish a cluster of brachas. So uh, we don't say amen otherwise. So you're not uh, amen We don't say amen in our own brachas. So therefore, in order to be able to make amen after the zimun, so you have to finish a second earlier, and then you quiet and you listen to the and then answer his to, to right to the person who's the mavorich, and then you answer amen. But if you finish together with him, because you could, uh, today people, ah, it wants quick. So then you can't say Omen, because uh, he, what can you do? Even though, that according to the Minik today, there's no Zimun. The Zimun is only when they're all doing it. What does it mean? When everyone person is making the bracha. And everyone's listening. That's the bracha of Zimun. One man says it, and nine men are listening. Not when every person is saying for himself, That's not called a Zimun. That's not a Zimun. If three men are reading, or ten men are reading, that's not a Zimun. It has to be one man is reading, and two men are listening. One man is reading, and nine men are listening. However, you could say, because every word they say together with him. It's as if one saying. Even though they're not listening, but they're saying with him, so it's fine. Also, the Chasimahs, they're listening to the Mavarech, and they say, Amen. So it's as if. One person made the bracha for all of them. 
ואף על פי שבערך זמן מציע לכם לשמוע עם הפעמים מבואר דווקא, כמו שיש בו שם. Even though, at the end of the day, חז"ל סטקונה was that they should listen. מקום מאוד כבביחס המוזן, מה אכפת חסון הכוונה? Because today people have the lack of כוונה, יש לנקיין, this should be the גמיניק. That's one opinion. There is a, as we'll say soon, there is chelkem, dal tere begluis, chelkem, but the bottom line is we do this minik. That's today what we do. But it's still a sharuria. What's the sharuria? You come to places and you see that Rabbi Yisrael ben and then it's like a free-for-all. Everyone goes swimming their own direction. That's not called the bechaz zimun. That's not zimun. That's not that bad. It's benching. The way Yoytzeb, if they say every word, Yoytzeb benching. But they could, people go a whole lifetime and not once Yoytze Bechazimun. Not once they lived for 80 years, not once in their lifetime were they Zoycha to do the Mitzvah of Zimun. The Mitzvah of Zimun is that after Ed, that the person who picks up the Kois says the last, it says, it says at least the last few words loud and they say Omen. But Chathila really, what sounds here, should say all the words in some type of that people can hear him a little bit. So they say together with him, Mila b'mila. But at least the last three words, he has to say, Baruch Atah Hashem, Ben Menachem Shalom, Amen. Or Hazon Esakoyl. And they say, Amen. Because if they're not doing that, they're not, he's not saying loud, so then they were not doing Bech Zazim. But I see so many places that the person says, Rabbi Yisai, he gets a kibbut, very nice. And he picks up the kois. And he says, Rabbi Yisai. And that's it. The ceremony is over. Now, everyone is on his own. What happens with Sheva Brachas? Is this a Vedana Brachla Vatala Sheva Brachas? No. I don't know. It's a long way shot, but it I don't think it would affect Sheva Brachas. 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 But it would be there was no Zimun here. But at the end he says the Brachla Al Gavan. I don't think, I don't think it, would, uh, it, would make, it would render it a Brachla Vatala. Because at the end of the day you have 10 people here, so it's fine. But, but you didn't have a Zimun. You didn't have a Zimun here. So it's like a strange thing. Because. Zimun is only the real Birchas Zimun is the, the original Birchas Zimun is that one man is saying and everyone's listening. Okay, so we say Bizman is that no one has attention, no one can pay. Okay, so we all have ADD, so we all take benches and we're saying it together with them. But you have to say to get A together with him and B that he says the end of the Baruch aloud and everyone you listens say, and everyone says, Oh, mate, if you're not doing the beer minimum, Midvasa does a Zimun, this is not a Zimun altogether. This is not a Zimun. And I'm telling you, I've been around, I see there's people, like I said, people live a, a life and they were not Zoycha once to do the Baruch of Zimun. Benching, they're benching, because they're benching out of a bench and they're saying every word, it's fine. But in order to do Bich Zimun, the minimum that you have to do is to say Mila B'Mila with the Mavarech, and he says the end of every one of the four Baruchas loud, and everyone says Amen. And if you're not doing that, in your lifetime you never once did Bich Zimun. They say, that uh, no, that there's no zimun unless one person reads and everyone's quiet. At least at the until the end, end of azon, because there's a machlok the gemara and there's a machlok is the how to read the gemara and the shem But according to some shayim, according to one opinion, until azon is occurred, that's called birchas azimun. So they have to listen until Azan is a koil. Really, that's the way we should do it. And from when they say Azan is a koil, that's when you should do like the minig of the first opinion. So therefore, the listening is ma'akev. You're not with that. Anyway, Lamaisa, I haven't seen anyone doing it like this, the way the Alter Rebbe says. The Alter Rebbe says we should go with the second opinion, which is that everyone should listen, quiet. Everyone should be quiet until Baruch Hashanah, first Baruch Hashanah, Sakoil, and then everyone should read quietly. The, but Lepoil, the Oilam is not like the first opinion. But uh, the, everyone agree if you do anything less than the first opinion, you will never yoyitz at the Birch so today there's an opposite Sharuria than the Sharuria that he's talking about here. Here he's talking about Sharuria, Himmel Gishrei. In those days people weren't paying attention. 
So he said, bet, bet every person should have a bench and do as on his own. That's what we do. But then there's the opposite Shiruria. The, the whole idea is, how do we still do in the midst of Zimun? Because everyone's saying, Mila be Mila imam Mevorech. And also, they finish a little earlier than the Mevorech. And he says, every one of the four brachas loud at the end, Borech Hashem Azon HaSakoyl. And same thing, the second bracha, the third bracha. And they are quiet and they say, Amen. But if you don't do that, you're not even you are, you are not yoyt to the bichas zimun altogether. Isn't it zimun a tool? Tool the guy say hoist him with a bench and, and that's it. Now the bichas zimun it's not part of bichas zimun. So, so that we had a machlok is that in the beginning of the gemara that's a machlok is shen what it meant, but uh, but uh, but even nishnegeya the, the 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 way Chazal set up that it should be the bichas zimun is that one person reads it and everyone's listening. So as man as the problem is no one's listening, no one's paying attention. So everyone sits with their own bench and says, That's good. That's good, it's a good tikkun. But at least they have to say it with the Mavorik Mila And they have to he has to say loud the last, uh, the last few words, Bar Hashem, Bar Hashem is on And they have to say Amen. But if they're not doing that minimum, that's the beer minimum it should be still called Bikhaz Azimun. Otherwise Midvasa does Bikh Zimun. The din is that by Krishna you're allowed to stop you know all kinds of rules even a snake is on your on your on your this is on your on your heel. You're not allowed to st- unless it's sakonis nefoshis. You're not allowed to no, stop. The snake the- is on your heel. It's disgusting. Okay, so whatever the pshat is in that mishnah. Okay. I feel I'm not going to I be it as it may. The chazal, the the so the poskim say that bich samozin is just as chomur as tefila. Legabe hefsi. As shmanes, right? Yeah, just like shmanes. The fish of a krishman. I'm a vidibartam. Pish chacham makam sheish lachoshir so daber bam davarachem. You could say apart and stop and talk to your friend, take a phone call and continue. <laughs> However, Chacham said, this is, not, this is not a sweet deal. You have to say, So they said to do it with Kifa Achas. They also said, you know what? Here, there, you're allowed to stop. So they said, just like it's by Krishna, Bichas Krishna is not going to be worse than Krishna itself. The Torah said that it has to be with one Tekifa. All the three brachas. That's it's that's what's mashma from the Torah. So the Torah says that's exactly what the Torah says. El ain't the mark of the It doesn't say you are too near Shalai. It says I'm very salt of the salt of the rachta. It's a loch. I'll order a chazal darshan. The rachta, the chalt of the salt of the rachta. Is all it's biches hazon, all or it's biches or it's a toiv as a rule in shalim. So it, it's one. The Torah says it's so one bracha. So I mean, the rice is only next to shul. I mean, the rice it's it's all over the world. It's all over the world. The nusach of the bracha is a little different, but the rice it's all over the world. But what we see from the Alter Rebbe here at Var Pella Playa Tzuma, Rabbi Yosef Engel has in the Asvon the rice. He has long essays. One of his long essays is. Is there such a thing as Lachatchil and the Eved the Raisa? Ask the Ashkof, the Ashkof Rishona that doesn't exist. The Rabbanon they made these rules Lachatchil and the Oved, Lachatchil and the Oved. The Torah is black and white, yes or no? No Lachatchil, you do this way. The Oved, there's no there's no Lachatchil and the Oved. That's what it is. Yeah, so he brings twenty one Raias that the Raisa. There is such a thing as L'Chatechila Diyavad. There is such a thing as L'Chatechila Diyavad. We see here from the Alter Rebbe, Befeirish, the Alter Rebbe holds, that the Rai said there is L'Chatechila Diyavad. L'Chatechila, you have to do all the three brachas of B'chazamazam, but Kifachas. And he holds it's the Rai said. 
And how does Alter ever know that? There's no Gemara. There's not. Because the Posik says it. It's Pliyat Suman. Because the Posik. The Posik says it. But they usually think I, the Gemara has Pshut to tell Shemikra. you. Pshut Pshut Similar to the Haku. <coughs> the Bach says, it, it says, Laman Yish. It says by the Sukkah, it says, Laman Yedin Dere Seichem. So the Kavon is a Chelik the Mitzvah. There's no Gemara. The Bach decided that that's what the Posik says. And it's so clear in the Posik that the Gemara doesn't have to tell it to you. So, uh, like the Rambam says, Loi Shosak me basa ba, me me bas, because uh, he already said basa bas, so what does he have to tell you more? So, the same thing the Altar Rebbe holds here. The Torah, the Gemara doesn't have to tell it to you, the Torah says it. Like the Rebbe said, Lagabi Hakel. The whole union of Hakel is the part of the mitzvah, Chelek of the mitzvah, is the Kavon of the mitzvah. Lama, because the Torah says, Hakel Soma Manoshim Manoshim Atam, Laman Yishmu, Laman Yilmadu, Viyoru. So the Yiddish Shemaim is not a prat noisif in the mitzvah. That is the mitzvah. Laman kol hayomim. The kol hayomim, the Yiddish Shem, that is the mitzvah. I, the Gemara doesn't say it. The Gemara doesn't have to say it. The Pasuk says it. It's an interesting thing. There's a shakla v'tali in the Chironim, if you could pass them straight out of the Chumash. The Gemara doesn't say anything. But there's a certain halachas, funny things. It's, there was Negei Lagabe HaGoymel, if you remember. The Altarab again, Paschal straight. The Altarab comes up with the difference if he had uh, chains that were Chavle Barzal, not Chavle Barzal. The Gemara never says a word about Chavle Barzal. The Gemara does not say a word about Chavle Barzal. And they're all tumul against the oh, Altarab. Uh, yeah, the Altarab makes a difference if it's Chavle Barzal, not Chavle Barzal. The Gemara never says a word. So the, uh, the Pasuk says, it says in Tehillim. But the Gemara never says it. Apparently the Altair holds it. If the Pasuk says, the Pasuk says, here, the Pasuk says. So the Pasuk says it has to be B'tkif Achas. You have to do B'tkif Achas. So two interesting big chidush we have here in the Altair. One is that you could pass Kanadim from the Chumash. And the second is that the Altair holds that there's a L'chatchil on the Eved, the Ovad, the Deir Anyway, the bottom line is the Altair holds that L'chatchil, you have to say the whole thing in B'tkif Achas without a Hefsek. Well, if you didn't make a Hefsek, you were Yoitzah. You were Yoitzah. However, I never have a Hefsek. You were Yoitzah. You So, you were Yoitzah. Let's try to finish here quickly. You have to sit. Doesn't matter if Bishas he was eating, he was Mahalach or not. If he was standing or walking or sitting, shouldn't be leaning. Not only the Mavarach, but all the other people as well. Ach, im loyos, okay, and I feel a bit of Mahalach, the other Yotza. He was Yotza. But the Chetchil, you have to sit. Called the Bebeis, Ava Mahalach, Bebeis, he was walking on the road. The Oichel, Derech, Iluchay. He was walking and eating. Just like is the same thing. Even though Alter holds for hither mitzvahs better than later and daven miyushiv. But okay, but he has he's allowed to even shmenes. He's allowed to walk and daven at the same time. But Alter emphasizes that's only if you were walking while you were eating. But if you have time to sit down and enjoy your sandwich while you were sitting, might as well sit while you're benching too. If he was walking while he was eating, and he's bederech, so then he could also walk. However, when you say you have to sit to the because it's the same nusach of the Torah. So you old v'yeshloch to sit not only by bechzamazon but also main sholosh. Interesting. The the gra here says. That the Rambam who says you have to sit also by bracha achas min is because the um, the Rambam holds that uh, if a person ate in one place and walked away, not only for bread you have to come back, but also for for the uh, for main you have to walk back. Um, so, but lagabe if you, if it wasn't chamisha minim, if it was it was not from the five grains, it was from the shiva minim. So the Vedir is a shy. They're not, not but in the Voshes, but it's uh, it's Alapedis, but not Alamechia. So over there, it's iffy. 
But that's the way the Gro learns, and that's how the Mishnah Berurah learns. But it's clear that the Alter Rebbe doesn't hold that way. The Alter Rebbe doesn't hold, it's totally in the Din, that if you have to go back to your original place. The Alter Rebbe says something else. <laughs> the Nusach of Berurah is that you have to go to the original place. The Nusach of Brain Shalosh is the same Nusach of the Torah. So it makes no difference if it's from the Chamesh Zmine Dagen or the Shiva Saminim. Anytime, it's clear, the Alter Rebbe says no. That the Alter Rebbe holds that you have to sit again. You have to sit. The Ovad, you were standing or you sit by benching. Sit by benching, and also by an alamichia or alagefen or alapedis. Any, any main shalosh, you have to sit. Also, lots of malacha by the mavarich. It's also do any malacha when you're making the bichas amazon. Shenirik mavarich derech are mikra. I feel a tash meshkal. The smallest thing is also lots of bishen and meinu mechavan. Ben tzarech lemish leyasek b'darav shtarech lasam libeyelov. Uh, even if a coach can, you're not allowed to do something if you have to pay attention. Because now his mind is not on the bracha. Also, all the brachas. If your your, your mind has to be on the bracha, you, you, you can't, uh, can't be in two places at the same time. Everyone agrees you have to have in all the brachas. Even from the second, everyone agrees that the whole Kirishma you have to have Kavona and the whole Shemana you have to have Kavona. So the Bech Zamazan is no different. What's unique about Bech Zamazan? Even he's playing with his keys. I'm not doing anything. I'm not, I'm not reading my texts right now. I'm just playing with my cell phone. But I'm not doing anything. I'm not texting. Tarmanished. So Bishas, Tfilam, and all the other Brachas, you're not allowed to text. Because not you're not being mechavan on the brach, but if you're just holding the phone in your hand, it's mutter. It's mutter. If you're benching, it's anish. It's mutter. Because but 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 the benching is a chiddush davar that even if mashen ke malacha be yadayin loy manoi, there's there's no mania elav a perik alav shul krishma. But by bichas amazon, you're not allowed to even do a ma'isi be yadayin without any kavana. That's on chumradik. The is bechas amazon benching. Ain't no kosher bracha lavarich elo latoiv ayin. When you give the kibud of kosher bracha, you should give it to toiv ayin. What's a toiv ayin? A gitta egg. What's a gitta egg? Blue eyes, purple eyes. What is a good eye? The opposite of ayin. Shu soyne betza v'goy mulchesed b'mamoyne. He doesn't like money, and he his own money. He's goy mulchesed. Shenem a toiv ayin who yevoyrich. The Gemara says I'll take yevoyrich al yevoyrich. A person with a toy vine, that's the person you should give the bracha to. So next time you have a person, you ask, who hates guilt? Pick up your hand. <laughs> and when someone picks up their hand, you give them to bench.